Well, I finally got me a new TV tow vehicle. I had a CRV like kind of similar to this one. It's my wife's. And you can see it here. It did a great job of towing this lightweight Scout light, but I decided I need to just get a little something bigger. So I've gone on to the 2019 Ridge Line. Um, this is probably a way more vehicle than I need to tow my CRV, but I decided to go ahead and go this route. Uh, you can see I've been putting on my new stickers on the new vehicle, advertising my YouTube channel a little bit there, and I also got some stickers while I was at it, and I replaced uh, the sticker on uh, right here. The A on that was starting to peel off, so I got new letters and uh, the front letters here that had my name Turtle Shell A on it. I replaced that. That was getting really faded, and that was bought through an Amazon site uh, where you can get a letter, letter set customized. I'll try to post that in the comment section so you can see where I got that. Also replaced this the A over here on this side. And it, it was starting to peel off in the sun and also put my YouTube channel and letters on the side here. You can see this piece here starting to fall out. I'm going to have to do a mod on that and, and I've been told to just use Velcro it's just a little shim to keep that from rubbing when it goes together there so uh, that's a little project I'll do in the future so uh, as far as transitioning to the, the ridge line you'll see it, it wasn't much difference on these trailer hitches uh, it's a little bit higher uh, so what I did here is this is the uh, tongue and I actually had the, the ball mounted this way before uh, and then I flipped it over to mount it this way to bring it down a little bit so actually a couple inches down before it was a couple inches up so I'm hoping that's gonna work out well I think it will okay you might think changing to another vehicle to another vehicle would be difficult with the brake controller and all that but I do have this wireless re uh, brake controller this is the brand name here and I'm gonna try it out now I think it's gonna work fine because the mainly the the mechanism is actually on my camper so we're gonna plug this thing in and what you do is you just plug it into your normal 12 volt outlet plug it in here and you'll see it says NC for not connected so we're going to go back and we're going to hook up the trailer just to make sure it's, that is working. Before I take this out, I'm probably going to give it a little run in my neighborhood just to make sure the brake controller is working. But we'll, I'll show you what's going on out back now. Now out back, like I said, I'm not going to I'm not going to put the hitch on. I've already done some adjustments as far as I showed you how I took the hitch and flipped it over and moved the ball to the other side. I think that's going to give me my proper drop, and I'll have to test it out because it will sag a little bit. The suspension on this truck is going to be better than my CRV, so I would think it's not going to droop that far down. But uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hook the seven-way plug. Let me show you this brake controller. Now, some of you can have this. This is what they set me up, which I'm really happy with it. It's worked really well. This is the controller right here. And this is that wireless controller. And when you hook this up, it actually powers this up. And it, it works pretty good. You can adjust it. I've actually gone through the gravel with the camper. Had it set a little bit too high. and actually dragged the tra trailer a little bit. So I had to turn that down a little bit. So it actually has an adjustment on it. So that works out real good. So we're going to go ahead and hook up our 7-way and see how everything works. So we have the seven way hooked up now, plugged in. We're gonna go up and start the car and see how this works with the controller hooked up. Like I say, here's the controller. All right. Now you'll see it flashes and that goes to C for connect. So it seems like it's working out really well. Uh, like I said, we'll have to take the take it down a highway just to make sure that the we don't have to do any adjustments Because there's an adjustment on the side here. We can kind of adjust the brake And then on the side here if you're going down the highway and you that thing is getting out of control You can tap this button you leave this up on your console and you can tap that button and it'll break the trailer for you 
kind of overrides it. So I just wanted to show you how we were working that out. And uh, that was really easy. I was real worried that there was some component within my CRV when I sold it that I was going to have to move it over. But this is the only part that I brought over from that, that old car. The rest of it was all attached to my camper.